Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we are going to be trying out some Is It in Standard Best of Three. Uh, so this list came from Crokey's. I switched up some things in the sideboard to my preference, um, but I thought the main board was really sweet and I cannot get enough of Slick Shot Show Off uh, plot. So you can cast it the following turn for zero mana. Flying Haste and gets plus two zero. Uh, until end of turn whenever we cast a non-creature spell. So we're playing kind of like a tempo base. We have Considers, Sleight of Hands in here for big power boosts. Uh, we have some like Kumano, Swiss Spears, Rages, uh, a new card, Demonic Ruckus. Uh, you could plot it for one, but it gets plus one, one, Menace and Trample. And then when it's put into the graveyard, you get to draw a card. Prof's Edict is a main board card uh, that lets you basically throw a bunch of counters on things based on the number of cards you've drawn. We have Jace Reawakened in here. Um, trying this out on the main board yet on the side. I want to see how this plays out. Another way to plot stuff. Uh, draw a discard to kind of loot. Sleek, slick sequence. If it's a sec second spell uh, you cast, it, you have to draw a card. Otherwise, it's just like a bolt effect. May want to go more burn. We have like Invasion of Tarkir in here. Some Witch Stalkers. Biggest thing for this deck is Spire Bluff Canal. We have appropriate mana to actually cast our stuff on curve. Here's a sideboard bug, so you can't see the full sideboard, but when we get into the games, I'll show you the full sideboard. But the main kind of change I made was I slotted in Urbrask's Forge because that card is too good to not play. Oh, we are not taking this to Timeless. We did a bunch of Timeless content, so if you want to see, we did a uh, Gruel scale up uh, Slick Shot deck. Uh, with Become a Mens in there as well. We did Demir Mill with Archive Trap uh, and Mesmeric Orb. So if you want to mill people, they fetch a land, you like Archive Trap, Archive Trap, Surgical Extraction them. Uh, that's up on YouTube as well. So make sure to check those out. All right, well, this hand is poops. Opponent goes first. I don't think this is that reasonable to keep. We're going to keep this just because the hand's kind of bad otherwise. Not a great start. Okay, so this is the team or rage deck, so probably going to be a tough one. They gain a lot of life. And our deck is just not wanting us to draw lands. Land would be best here. Virtue there. I might concede. I'm going to see if they hit the Nissa here, but I might concede to make them think we're only mono red. Yeah, I'm just going to concede here. They're far enough ahead. We missed the land drops. This is sometimes where it makes sense to conceal information. Um, I'm going to bring the forges. I think the negates are good. And we probably want the abrades and the bolts. I don't want Tarkirs. I don't think I want the Frenzies. I don't want the Jace. Probably get rid of a Ruckus. Get rid of a slick sequence. Probably just two slick sequence. Uh, I had hearse. So I needed to bring in hearse. That was dumb. Okay, if we go to game three, bring in hearse. Bring in your graveyard hate in this matchup. It's important to have. Okay, well. We have spells. Spells are good. So one thing you want to be mindful of, you want to usually prioritize Sleight of Hand over the Consider early, because if you have Proft, it gets better. We'll probably go Ledger next. Just because it lets us um, potentially kind of churn through our deck. They could have Brotherhood's End. They usually play... So let's slight a hand here. Yikes.
Okumano here. Yikes. Deck doesn't want to find his lands. Not cool. Can Swiss Spear and consider. Ditch the Kumano. I think we're just going to forge here. They could have the Sweeper next turn. Their mana base is also like awful. Because next turn I can Swiss Spear, consider. Yeah. We called it hill time here. They'll have to discard something big, but we have Forge going. So Kellen does get killed. In terms of lands. Okay, we should probably just be able to kill them here. My friend. Okay, much better. Turns out when you hit lands in your deck, um, I don't think this hits planeswalkers, does it? Okay, so we do want the hearses. I think slick sequence is probably the worst. Probably... Come on, I'm on the play. We need a braid because it's three damage for their creatures, which we would need on curve. So like something for me, I think I might want to just prefer, like, prefer to do... I think we keep this. We have the Abrade, which is nice. Um, I personally think I would prefer playing Lightning Strike over the Slick sequence. While it can draw you your card, I think three damage is more important. And then just having the flexibility to go face. That's not bad because I get to go this Ruckus this turn. I could go Slick Shot here. I think we're just gonna. Hmm. So they go Nissa. We'll do this, I think. Might be wrong. They could have a braid. That's usually like their removal. So we can try to go for a land. We can go the safe route here. A land draw would be best. Too much risk to not kill this, I would say. And Nessa here, Nessa will find it, which is kind of annoying. and they get to cast the Analyst, which is super frustrating. So they hit the Vampire Vengeance ill-timed. I think here I need to... Perfect. We hit the land. They are going to get a lot of triggers off. I 
think we just plot this turn. See what they do. We're going to get six mana off this. Hopefully they hit a Nyssa. That would be best case. Okay, that's good. If game one wasn't like a complete dumpster fire, could have been interesting. They could just have rage here though. I do think I want lightning strike over the slick shot. Okay, the deluge, so that's a good sign. Means they might not have it yet. It's not enough to rage. They're at 16, that's... Jeez. Soaked up so much here. See what we can do. They don't block. Almost. Almost. They get so many lines back. Yeah, so I think we overboarded on Forge, maybe. The problem is if they don't have Rage in hand, we're not quite dead. But this is like so slow and boring to watch. Because they have seven for Deluge. We go Virtue. Okay, so ill time. We do get to draw two. I mean, it's more than likely that they find a rage now. They have 18 cards in the library. I think I want lightning strike. Go. Can't even get the like extra value here. See if they hit rage. Not much we can do. Yeah. I think I want Soul Guide over... 
thing because it's cheaper. I don't think Jace is where we want to be, and I want Lightning Strikes. It's more damage, and it deals with those, which I like. We have the Prof, we have the Spell Pierce. Right, we'll see. If we run into it more... In like game one, we just we had a non-game. I'll we'll have to change since Jace was cut. Just being able to like scale up to three damage, I think, is important. I do think we maybe, especially in that matchup, want like another negate or a disdainful stroke. Oh my god. What's with us just like never? I think we keep this though. We're on the draw, we have Kumano. We can plot some stuff. Depending on what they're, sh like if it's just Boros, if we hit the lion, we can just play Slick Shot. Human, so it's Boros. Sick. So we do have to decide if we want this. I guess like case is the only thing that gets us here. Let's start for them. Do they have the Convoke too or just Warden? I think if if we're to win this game, I need him to not have case. I'll keep this back. Peace. A lot of damage there. So we'll take it. A shredder, but... Don't think we're attacking. Expire Bluff. So Rage would get in a little bit more. So Rage would put another counter, that's four. Consider gets in. So I actually think we're just playing Ledger out this turn. They can get this bigger, but... I need to just try to get in like a big trample turn. They do that, they might set up the second warden. Playing defensive, which is a little bad.
Which Stalker Frenzy would be the best draw? I'm guessing like they drew Yodian Frontliner. That works. I attack with everything. I'm dead on the crackback. If I had one more like untapped land, it'd be great because I can then do the rage and the frenzy. So they go Yodian, they attack with everything. They go Case here. Sure. Kind of annoying. Wouldn't have had Spell Pierce up anyways, but like just the sequence of lines kind of got us this game too. We'll get rid of you. We eat you. Can I kill you now? Not quite enough. See if they mess up. Do not, yeah. These got out of hand pretty quick. If they didn't hit the case, we would have had enough with Ledger to get it done. So in this matchup, I usually like to just become the control matchup. So Brotherhood's End is nice, Obliterating Bolt, Abrade, we have Barrages. I usually bring in the Forges because I'll cut down on creatures. Things like Kumano aren't as good, uh, nor is Swiss Spear. Um, similarly, we can get rid of these Ruckus. They won't do that much. Probably play a couple Swiss Spears. Amount of monstrous rage. Spell Pierce is interesting because it can have a lot of utility, but at the same time be pretty bad. I think we're gonna opt to not play the spell pierce. Probably let's go to three forges. So that's usually how I approach this matchup. Like we are the control deck and that could win out of nowhere. We were just kind of behind at that point. Missing land drops a couple turns, not having the right kind of colors to double spell. Cannot 
catch a break with these decks. Uh, Flight of Hand looks deeper, so we'll keep that. The red source here. I think we go Shredder here. Their deck's inclined to double spell, and then if I need to, I have the Lightning Strike for this if they're able to get it going. Novice. Double Baron. Another one drop spell would be good. Okay, can we stop with Swiss Spears? That's what? One to the graveyard, one. To, we had three at the top of our deck. I'm doing this because they might be inclined with Warden to activate. So it'll tap down some creatures at least. I guess in response I should have killed it. They get the scry here. I want them to play another spell here, it'd be great. Cool. Um, still think I'm doing this. This is an interesting line. Could go Shredder, gives me another blocker. I think I'm just doing this now. Saying go. I could have held in case they tried to go case, but here they need like another creature and the thing. I guess if they have the blow up the artifact. So they brought in Forges, an interesting one. Next turn, hopefully double spell, flip this invasion. I'm going to take the damage here. I think they have a removal spell or like a witch stalker or something. I don't want my, or even just if it's. Kill this. So with the Witch Stalker, I'm going to do this. 
because I can get it out of range. So this is for which one? That's you. I don't love doing this. But it keeps me alive here. And then I get this and now I can machine gun down their board. This having first strike could be relevant and it also will set up our scries. So they had to get lost. This also just having first strike for this is really good. We can just continually control that. This is what? Three to activate. We can blow that up and then all their artifacts. I'm gonna hold this land in case they double spell. I wanna be able to, to loot here because otherwise they can loot us off this Brotherhood's end. It's a decision. You do have first strike, right? As long as it's your turn. Um, I think there's more utility in having Shredder. We are running a little risky. They have like they have a land creature, they beat me, but otherwise I think we're just gonna do this. They'll have to double spell, which draws us into a chance to draw removal. They go Yodian. Got him. Got him! Okay, so if they brought in the forges, I do think we want the spell pierce. That could help. And... Probably... Just trimming a rage. Let's run it like that. Obviously got to prioritize hands with a sweeper if we can. They get better by doing so. Them being on the play is a little scary. We have Brotherhood's End. I'm going to keep this. Just going to play this out now. 
We have a couple options. If they try to get Warden going, I'll just kill Warden. If they're not able to... Am I interested in just like sweeping a warden and draw? I mean, it keeps them off the convoke, which it seems like they might have. Um, don't have enough to like straight up kill. I do think I need to sweep here. They could go forge here. It's a very real chance. Good start. That's great. So they ditch the case, which is even better. So we flip this, and now we should be able to Start picking off their stuff. Not super worried about case here. Had blue mana. Brotherhood's End's a nice kind of follow up play. I don't hate Ledger Shredder. Usually want to take them off white spells. So they can't activate the case yet. Yeah, pretty uh, solid draw. So I actually think here we attack, I hit him in the face, not quite enough, and then what I do is I play Ledger Shredder, Shredder will trigger, this keeps my Shredder alive, and now I've wiped their board. I'm going to hold the Ottawara, we can loot. Loot it, I could bounce something. Same line. So good you'll gleeful twice. Alright, Defiant Thunder Ma taking it down. So you can kind of get an idea of what the deck's looking to do. Uh, the team or match, we kind of got pwned a bit, but uh, I think being able to shift to a little bit more controlling is what makes these red-based aggro decks really cool. It allows you to attack at a different angle, but let me know what you think. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.